Um, hi guys, I'm back with a new video and I am about to go for a walk and go to a birthday party, not mine, somebody else's. But I decided to do this video first because, anyway, I got into a fight with Belial. At least we had a huge argument or at least something like i don't know friction and communication let me start from the beginning it was wednesday night i was on the couch with my cat watching dr paul on national geographic and at some point i was like you know what i'm going upstairs put on my pajamas because it's way more comfortable and fun to watch dr paul in your pajamas so uh, i came down and i noticed that the cat was drooling his saliva or something or whatever comes out of his mouth was clear so if he had some kind of thing going on with his teeth a rotten teeth or um, something stuck in his mouth then there would be blood or he would smell and um, nothing I checked I checked again but he kept drooling and then he started having trouble breathing and his heartbeat was way too fast I was like maybe he swallowed a spider again he did this before uh, or an ant or a fly or something and then he goes through something similar and i decided to wait for 30 minutes but after an hour i was like this is not okay he stopped ruling but he was having trouble breathing and um so i called the emergency vet and he was like it must be something like an allergic re reaction to whatever and um wait it out and see what happens the next morning now the next morning um he was still he stopped ruling and his breathing was still crazy and his heartbeat was crazy so i called the my normal vet and i made an appointment i took my cat to the vet and they i could see that they were worried really worried so they made a an x-ray and there turned out to be a black lump somewhere in his one of his lungs and they said that it had to be an ammonia you know an infection in the lungs or cancer but he normally with coughing and stuff like that he would smell and there would be some blood maybe some green stuff coming out of his mouth or sneezing coughing um, a higher temperature temperature than normal and these things just weren't there so they were like based on what we see on the x-ray i think he has cancer but we are going to treat him like it was a lung infection so i had to leave him there they put him put my cat into a an oxygen chamber and i had to leave him there overnight so it had started on wednesday thursday vet stuff oxygen oxygen chamber antibiotics injections and then i was like it was thursday evening and the vet called that he was still having trouble breathing and things like that and i should uh think about keeping him there during the weekend in the oxygen chamber because it made the whole thing a little bit easier for him 
Now my problem with this is that there is nobody there to look out for my cat. It's the weekend, they put the, the, the cat in an oxygen chamber, then they go home and uh, I ask if they at least uh, took an eye on my cat using a camera of some sort, but they just leave him there and three times a day somebody checks on the animals that have to stay there and that's it. And I was like, I want to take him home. Um, at the end of the day, Friday, because nobody is going to look after him during the weekend and just give me the medication and I will take care of it and deal with it. And uh, they were resisting and struggling and trying to convince me that the cat would be better off staying there. And I was like, okay, if it's really important for him to stay in this oxygen chamber, then um, that's going to be fine. But um thursday evening i was so frustrated and so angry that um when belial popped up in the evening i was like get the fuck out of my life if you have nothing better to do than show me what suffering is or if you want to Offer me some great advice. Expose crazy amounts of gnosis. And life advice and life lessons. And just fuck off. I was so angry. And so frustrated. And I was cursing and swearing. And I was like, either you make sure that my cat comes home with me Friday at the end of the day or you get the fuck out of my life forever and never show up again ever so if you want me to work with you make sure that my cat gets better if not I am going to resist everything about you and I don't want anything to do with you, then you'd fucking die. So, my decision was that if Belial would pop up offering me shitty experiences, then I would do everything in my power to eliminate him. Deny him, curse him, and I already made the decision that I would never accept him into my life. And then something calming came over me, as in a dark, nurturing kind of energy. And Paimon had already shown me beautiful ways to do self healings. Which I didn't put on video because I don't know why. I just decided to not put them on video because a lot of witches and occultists and demonolators are just ungrateful, shitty assholes. So I was like, you're not getting this information. In this case, Belial calmed me down. Which I really appreciated because I was just going mad. And he calmed me down. And once I calmed down, he showed me a beautiful way to help my cat heal. And to. And I was like, Paimon teaching me a beautiful way of doing self healings. Then Belial showing me how to do. Distance healing in a little bit of a different way. It reminded me a little bit of Reiki, but it was different. And I'm not sure if I'm going to share this with you because, like I said, even though I only have, I think, 1600 subscribers, um, there are a lot of visitors that aren't subscribed but are... Um, 
I don't know. Really don't like them. But um, not all of them, of course. But there are a couple of them that I rather not have on my channel. But as long as they are not subscribed, I can't do anything about them. Because if you are subscribed, I can simply block you. Or whatever. Anyway, long story. I won't bother you with this. But the next day, I called the vet. And I got a lady on the phone that told me that the vet was still checking all the animals that had to stay overnight. And it wasn't yet my cat's turn so i had to wait a little longer um two hours later she called me that they had done this test by taking my cat out of the oxygen chamber and put him in a normal cage and he was breathing uh, completely normal his heart rate was okay and uh, i could pick him up at the end of the day which i did and he was running around and being happy and jolly and mowing and then you go through the thing that you have to give a cat <laughs> medication yourself now the thing about this cat is he was already mature when he was brought to the shelter he spent three or four years in the shelter and then um, I was the only one interested in taking him home because he isn't really cuddly or something. To me he's cuddly but um, when you want to pet him he has this way of attacking your arm. So my advice to visitors is to never pick him up or try pet him or cuddle him or whatever because he's going to... Um, but he was sweet and loving and kind and hopping around and I had to apologize to Belial for resisting and putting up a fight and things like that. But I think he got the message that I am not going to worship him, get on my knees, bow, pray. Uh, spend a lot of time staring at his sigil or wasting a lot of money on incense or whatever But I am grateful that even though he Saw me freak out and lash out at him Took the time to call me calm me down and teach me how to do a distance healing on Animals, at least animals. I don't know if it works on humans also, but um, So no really insane type of losses or lessons or things like that, but Am I ashamed of All this I don't think so. I think it made him smile because Belial is one of those demons that is really popular with like same with all the gothic demons lately I don't know when it started or where it started but um, suddenly angels out of the window demons come in come into my life come in and help me and I'm like well So, that's about me getting into a fight with Belial, he teaching me a new healing skill and me ready to make an apology to Belial in, I think, I do, I think I will do it this evening. And my cat is all happy and healthy and jumping around and nothing's going on with him and, but what I'm not interested in is... I talk to Belial and I'm not interested in deep insights, big life lessons, knowing about the importance of balance and darkness and light. I said to Belial, you know what, just check my timeline, 
you know, you're a demon, you are big, you're powerful, check my timeline, I've suffered enough, give me a break, or fuck off, because I don't want to have something, somebody in my life that's going to make a mess and make everything all dark again. So I appreciate life more. Fuck off. <sighs> but I'm okay now. I think we are okay. So um, that's it. See you next time. Bye.